Hi, this is Jarrett Watson from Power RC Hobbies. Today, we're going to have a closer look at what's inside the box of the Micro Beast from Beast X. Okay, here we're going to have a closer look at what's inside the box of the Micro Beast uh, combo. This is the combo that comes with the uh, USB interface. Okay, you open it up. First thing you'll see here is a nice cardboard protector, keeping the uh, the Micro Beast uh, protected for shipping. We'll take it out. And then we'll open up the uh, box further. And we'll see right here we have the foam tape package with the receiver adapter cables. And we will have the USB interface with a very long lead. We have the instruction manual here. It's a full color, a very detailed instruction manual on how to set up, how to mount, how to install, uh, and how to uh, adjust the Micro Beast itself. One thing worth noting here, that uh, each step in the manual, uh, such as step E, corresponds with the different light on the Beast X itself. We have uh, LEDs A through N. Each step in the manual corresponds with that, which is a very cool little touch. Here we have the Beast X uh, overview, quick setup type guide. It talks about uh, de uh, not quite in depth as the manual is, but kind of a quicker way to, to set up the unit itself and all the different pulse widths and stuff like that, and the color coding. And lastly, you have the uh, a very nice Beast X decal sheet, so you can let people know what you're flying and, and what you're supporting. Okay, here we're going to have a closer look at the uh, Micro Beast itself. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty small unit. It has a nice metal case. I mentioned that earlier, but it kind of adds a little bit of weight to the uh, gyro itself, makes it work a little better in larger models. Um, also mentioned before, it can be mounted flat like this or on its side, whichever is more convenient for you and, uh, and your installation. Here we'll cover some of the uh, features of the unit itself. Basically, this is where all your uh, your channel assignments are, and you use your receiver adapter cables to plug these in. Right here is where you basically you can update the unit right here via the USB interface. And I also mentioned the status LED. It will glow different colors based on different uh, different commands you're giving the unit, and different settings, different tail servo types, etc., pulse widths. Each uh, each color of the LED. It is a multicolor LED. Will uh, indicate one setting or another. Also you have your rows of your uh, A, B, C, D, etc. on your LEDs. That corresponds with each setting. This is basically your your push button that allows you to access these parameters. You can also check out your uh, your charts that go along with it. Uh, but you press the button and hold it for three seconds. It'll get you in the flight control setup, the, the uh, flight wireless setup, and then press the button again. It'll get you in your tail setup which is this bank right here. Here you have your gain dials, which is how you adjust your uh, your cyclic gain is gain number one. Your dial number two is your direct cyclic feed forward. Uh, no real need to go into that. You can read the manual and see what that is. And dial three is your tail dynamic, basically how how the, the uh, tail gyro is going to perform. And that's a closer look at the uh, the Beast X itself. Okay, here we're going to have a closer look at some of the available accessories for the Beast X. Um, up first, we have the tail gyro adapter cables. What this does is it allows you to use the Beast X as a standalone tail gyro uh, and not using any of the fly barless features. That's kind of good for beginners that are just kind of learning the unit and just want to fly the tail gyro and get familiar with it before stepping into the fly barless scene. Uh, right here, we have the stock um, foam tape that comes with the uh, Beast X. Um, we'll talk about here in a minute that the Beast X does have a few different types of foam tape. This, however, is a standard tape used in most models. This is a basically a digital protractor. They call it a digital bevel box. It's for checking the pitch of fly barless models. It simply clamps on the blade grip or something like that, and it gives you like a digital readout of your uh, of your um, uh, pitch or your pitch reading. And here we have the uh, Beast X receiver adapter cables. Basically, they're just male to male extensions for different different uh, size models and etc. Uh, most importantly we have here is the Beast X USB interface. Right now it doesn't really have a major purpose other than updating the firmware uh, of the Beast X itself. Later on you'll be able to adjust parameters and stuff like that via the interface, making setup that much more easier. Okay, we just finished up having a closer look at what's inside the box of the uh, Micro Beast from Beast X. Um, they're a nice, small, compact unit that fit a variety of helicopters. Relatively easy to set up and they fly Pretty doggone good for the money. Uh, they're available at PowerRCHobbies.com. Again, I'm Jarrett Watson. Thanks for watching.
Yo, we still the same with the little fame A little change in the household name But ain't too much change We in the game, yo, but not to be vain I refrain from salt grains to season up my name We entertain for a mutual game From close range, steady aim My drum at your head to hit the brain I'm labor ready, roll scholar for the dollar